Hey guys, my name is Artyom Samoylo and on this channel we talk about futsal tactics. In this video I will show you a drill to improve the defense in numerical disadvantage. And before we continue I invite you to my Patreon account for exclusive futsal content. Check out the link in the description of the video. So in our futsal matches we often encounter a situation where we have to defend against a counter-attack, against a positional play if we have one of our players sent off for example or if the opposing team is using flying keeper tactic. So we need to be able to deal with those situations where we have one player less. I'm gonna give you the drill which is game related, which is dynamic and also is a small sided game basically, so players learn while playing futsal. <clears throat> So you are using one half of the court, you have goalkeepers in goal and you have three players in each of two teams. So it's three against three. At first there's no limit on touches. Further on, if players got used to it, you can reduce the allowed amount of touches on the ball to three or to two touches. So it's three against three and as the ball goes out of play, for example, there was a short wide or there was a ball which goes out, the team that lost the ball loses the player who lost the ball. So this player immediately goes out and is out of play. And now red team has an upper hand, numeric advantage, three against two. So they provide the attack if they score, attention, the ball is given to this keeper and they start again. If green team manages to defend against this situation, doesn't matter if it's a corner or if it's a shot wide, doesn't matter whose the ball is, but the most important is that the attack has finished. Then this player moves in and teams are equal again. This teaches us to defend with less players in numeric disadvantage. And remember that you will have both attacking situations in three against two and also defensive situations in three against two. If you are a coach, concentrate and give your feedback only on those defensive nuances of this drill, because there has to be only one objective that you are pursuing on your training session. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, a lot of stuff is coming your way, you don't want to miss that. And I invite you to my Patreon account, where I have a lot of exclusive futsal content such as futsal coaching courses, futsal ebooks on tactics, print ready training sessions and so on. All the links are in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.